Hi, I thought I would post a quick video just showing you this motor and showing you it running with this inverter. Not particularly exciting the video, but uh, I thought it would be useful just taking a video while I've got it connected up because I needed to test it, see it running and it does run. And the motor is rated, as I say, it's a three phase motor, it's two horsepower, three phase. And in Delta, it's uh, rated for 400 or 440 volts. Now, I don't have such a supply. However, my inverter will output, uh, well, a single phase input, three phase output, 240 volts in, 240 volts out on each phase. So it's still going to run the motor. Uh, it might not run it or it won't run it at the... Uh, at the um, rated um, power output. Okay, I'm assuming uh, because we've approximately half the voltage, it would be about quarter of the power. Now, um, other things to note, I think that it's going to run at the uh, same frequency that you would expect if it were running uh, at the higher voltage because uh, it's an induction motor. So I believe that the, the rotational speed will be uh, will be frequency dependent rather than voltage dependent. So I have to be a little bit careful with this. Obviously, uh, this is uh, temporary wiring here, which I've just got linked to a trailing lead, which then goes to my VFD. So I'm going to keep my fingers well clear of that. And uh, there inside the wiring box here, uh, someone probably a good few years ago left me that. Okay, so that just shows the uh, delta connections for 400 slash 440 volts and so we're gonna, just going to see this running okay so nothing too exciting now let's just press start there you go okay now that's started at uh, 25 hertz so I limit the VFD I think to 60 hertz maximums I'm just going to ramp up the speed a bit let's go up to 40 that's nearly 50. Okay, so that should be running at about uh, 1,420 RPM. And let's take it up to 60. I think I set 60 as a maximum. No, I haven't actually. There we go, 70. Well, probably set it 75. Let's, let's, uh, 72 is the limit. Okay. So like I say, I'm not running it at the correct voltage, the correct voltage by look of it. My understanding delta connection 400 or 440 volts. Uh, we are running in delta. I've put the links in delta configuration, not star, but delta. Uh, but it is uh, 240 volts. Now, uh, due to the inertia, I believe due to the inertia of the motor, if I try and ramp down too quickly, we'll get a a, uh, an over voltage condition so I'm just going to ramp it down quite slowly okay quite a nice quiet motor it's big physically big uh, it is a two horsepower motor anyway so it's going to be uh, fairly large I think it's approximately end to end is about 380 mil. Um, it weighs a lot. I haven't weighed it. I'm going to guess 30 kilos or something like that. It's a substantial cast iron frame. Foot mount, obviously. It's got the uh, correct wiring box on there. I just popped it off just so I could temporarily wire onto my trailing lead, which I've got a, um, a four pin socket on which is handy because I use this VFD for testing. Now there, there just in case you're interested, there was a fault condition. Uh, that was, as I say, I believe due to the uh, inertia of the motor. Uh, this, uh, the, the VFD and the motor most definitely are not matched, but just for just testing as a, as a one-off, I'm willing to do it. Okay, so it works. There we go. Okay, uh, like I say, it's it's quite probable that in the near future I will uh, advertise this for sale because I've removed it from a table saw and swapped the motor. So um, yeah, at the moment it's just it's going to be a doorstop to me. Okay, that's it for the video. If, if you've got any questions or suggestions, um, 
please do comment. Thank you very much.